What's going on, YouTube? This is your DraftKings Addict, bringing my top picks for the NBA Playoff Sunday main slate. All right, guys, so just beware. This slate starts early, guys. It's 12 noon Central Time in my area or 1 p.m. Eastern Time, guys. So just make sure that you got your lineups in before before lock. You know, you hate to reserve your, your contest and then uh, not have a lineup rostered, okay, guys? So on the screen, as you can see, there's a couple of game time decisions with Victor Oladipo of the Indiana Pacers, and then you got uh, OKC's Corey Brewer uh, as a game time decision as well, guys. So all right, just be aware of that, guys, and uh, make sure you got your lineup set. All right, so let's get into my top plays, guys. We'll get into it real quick. All right, so this is my top plays. I like Westbrook, guys. Now, originally, I was kind of going in between Westbrook and Harden. I'm just going to be honest. All right, guys, I like those two matchups. All right, now LeBron is in a nice matchup too, and so is ABC, a.k.a. Giannis. Attenta Cupo. All right. But let's just go. Let's just go with Westbrook, guys. You know, this guy has the ability to put up 85, 90 DraftKings points if you would like to, man. You know? So let's look at the last game that he played, man. He had six points, guys. All right. And he still put up 62 DraftKings points. Why? Because the offense pretty much goes to him. 19 assists and 20 rebounds, guys. All right. He was he was shooting two for nine from field goals, guys. So, okay, shot wasn't dropping, so guess what? He dishing out the assist, guys, getting everybody involved. So Westbrook usage is ridiculous, and I like him in this matchup versus Utah at home in a playoff game where they want to win the first game, okay? So I like Westbrook. But, again, it was a tough call between him and Harden. Let me be honest because I, I love me some Harden as well too. James Harden versus Minnesota, but they got, you know, Jimmy Butler back. So, uh could he lock down Harden? I don't know. But I'm going with Westbrook. Next up, Middleton. I like Middleton versus Boston, guys, in this game. Again, Middleton at 6.8K. Uh, playing against Boston, he should get a decent amount of minutes. As you can see, he's averaging around 38 minutes a game versus this team and putting up 40 DraftKings points, guys. So for a guy that's 6.8K, we like that. Again, he's a high-usage guy. He takes, about, takes double-figure shots. He assists the ball, puts up points. Defensive uh, numbers with uh, steals. All right, need to grab a couple of rebounds for you guys. But I like Chris Milton versus Boston. Versus a beat-up Boston, guys. Let's be honest. You know, they don't have Kyrie, you know. So, hey, let's let's go ahead and go with that. So, I like to tag them at the, at the shooting guard position, all right? So, next up, going back to that same game. But on the other side, I like Al Horford because you like playing bigs versus Milwaukee, okay? All right, so if you look at Al Horford splits, Four games throughout the season, he put up 40 DraftKings points on average, guys. All right, so this team, like I said, their star power is limited, and so I like Al Horford to step up and put up some good good uh, numbers, guys. I expect him to get a double-double and put up at least 35 DraftKings points with a little bit of a ceiling of around 45 or so. All right, for a guy that's 6K, we, we can live with that. All right, so Al Horford, guys, he's just too damn cheap, guys, playing at home. All right, then Clint Capella. All right, so now let's be aware that he set out a game with a hand injury, but he should be good to go, guys. But just check the news and make sure he's a hundred percent, okay? But if you look at this guy's twenty-eight minutes played, he put up a nice double double, eighteen and ten. All right, forty DraftKings points. So for a guy again that's six point four k, which is not that expensive, I like the fact that he can put up forty DraftKings points. But to be honest, guys, you know. Hey, if you get in a couple of blocks or whatever, he can put up 58 points like he did here versus New Orleans, guys. Uh, this is Clint Capella, man. They're at home, all right? So, I like Clint Capella. I think his price is too cheap, guys, all right? And then my value play, guys, on the screen is going to be this guy right here, man. You know, he's getting back to the groove of things. You see he's putting up, playing 20 minutes, 21, 25, 24, give or take. But this is the playoffs, guys, and I like Collison's history versus Cleveland. Four games played. On average, he's playing around 30 minutes and putting up 36 DraftKings points. He got a couple of steals, assists, all righty, and putting up a nice amount of points. So I like Collison in this game that I think is going to be competitive, man, because Cleveland can't put away no teams, man. You know, every team that they play against is a close game. They putting up 112 points, another team putting up 115. So I like Collison to get some nice points off of that. So all right, that's my top plays, guys. It's not my only plays. It's only a four-game slate. So I'm going to be honest, man, I'm going to have a different mixture of players. All right, but at the moment, these are my uh, top plays that I like, guys. All right, you might want to check out some Rubio, too, here. Look at that. Oh, my God, he's only 5.9K. Oh, my God, that's a steal. If he's okay, if that hemi is okay, 
you know, that could be a good 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 point because uh, before his hamstring issue, man, look at that. 51 draft king points, 42, 46. He's on a nice little old burner there, 43, 43. All right. So and then last game, he only paid 24 minutes and put up 31 draft king points. All right. So that's another guy that you might want to look at there, too, guys. Rubio. All right, but if you play these plays on the screen, guys, you got 4,800 left over, guys. It's only a four-game slate. So pick your pause and pick your side and stand on your side, all right? So good luck tomorrow, guys, on the NBA slate. And holler at me in the comments, guys. Let me know how you're doing. If you have any plays that you like, let me know, all right? And uh, good luck on tomorrow, guys, and I'll see you guys for uh, Monday's uh, slate.